I still want to have somewhat of caffeinated drink. We can get away green tea. So, all right. So I'm gonna get started with, like I said, my song called "Beautiful Messengers," and um, I'm just gonna change this screen real quick because I don't really want to know when the connection will be better because <laughs> it's it's so distracting to me looking at that too much. It's like. Okay, so connection is bad now. Connection is good now. It's like, <laughs> I, I kind of get to a point where I don't even want to see it. I want to focus, you know, on my music here and what I'm playing. I don't need to know how internet is behaving every single second. So, of course, I'm always hoping for the best and I hope that it's running smoothly and you can hear me well and that you're enjoying the tunes, but otherwise it just gets to a point where I kind of, uh, yeah, <laughs> hopefully you get the point. So here is Beautiful Messengers. chirping and actually I know I sang in there Winter's Day because uh, what the beautiful thing about the song that happened is that I can change the season name <laughs> but uh, if you must know it was actually inspired by a day in the fall so uh, called Beautiful Messengers is inspired by the chirping of the birds in the fall time but uh, birds always chirp 
no matter what season, at least where I'm at and where I like being, is somewhere where birds always chirp. So, um, next song is this is a big song. I'm sure you're familiar with it. So.
you, but it'll be on the, a great evening. So I was just, I was talking about green tea just a song ago. So I guess um, actually in the beginning of this video, and um, I feel like throwing some other health food around for topic <laughs> between the song Forgiven and the next song that I'm gonna do, which is uh, yeah, I'm gonna do uh, my song called. In the summer rain next, which is very unseasonal, in fact. But um, right after that, I'm planning on playing a song that's very seasonal indeed. So I'm gonna balance that out. Um, so yeah, if you wanna hear my little lecture on green tea, <laughs> just remind. Um, Coming up next after this next song, I guess I'll I'll talk a, a bit about avocados and their health benefits. <laughs> Maybe um, it's Sunday after all, so no topic is completely off the table. You know, um, here is in a summary. <laughs> Yeah. 
So as I was saying, that's why in real life I can't stand to announce songs beforehand. I figured that, you know, the only use of set lists and, and things like that and um, actually announcing the songs beforehand, the only point of that is if like if you're playing in a band, which when you have band members, you're you're feeding off each other's energy. So you can play a song a thousand times and you still can get excited over it because you're not the only one who loves playing that song, you know. So, um, so that's the only point for set lists. Really, this is why in real life when I play solo, I'm just like, I'm playing solo and I don't like to tell people what I'm playing next. And people love it anyways, what I play next anyway. So it's rarely that I announce a song before I actually play it. Um, and that's the way I've been doing. So uh, this is the way I've really been playing for the last, last like six or seven years, the way I've been um, liking to play most of my songs. So, you know, um, it's rarely that I want to tell you what song I'm playing next. but. But still, I will play in the summary. Because I promise you. tuning in. Uh, as you know, I do have virtual tip jars if you can 
Uh, you may tip me if you'd like, but of course you're completely welcome to tune in and listen and not tip if you can't. That's all right. As long as you're enjoying the tunes, I really do appreciate you watching my YouTube creations here. So and I've got, you know, I've got more YouTube stuff coming uh, shortly. I haven't been doing my one song I've been doing for a while there where I would put up one song at a time. Um, so I'd like to do some more of that as I had done in the past. And uh, so now I just mentioned the health food avocado, right? And um, I just kind of, I wanted to blab about it a bit because it has so many different health benefits besides the fact that it has vitamin C and such. And you know, if you have been watching the news, <laughs> then you know what that sign is for, obviously. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to say one thing, though, before I say anything else about avocados, uh, is, is the fact that, you know, um, if you're following the news all the time, especially during a time like this, it is no wonder if you're angry or if you're sad. Um, I'd say if you want to be happy, lay off the news, okay? I think that the news have probably become, I think it had become a new drug, actually. Uh, in sorts, uh, I think, to some people. I don't want to call out any names. Um, <laughs> let's just say maybe somebody I know, my family even, um, that the news is something else. So, uh, of course, you know, as I'm saying this, um, I got to take a quick, uh, closer look at myself as well. It's not like I haven't uh, done that since March, where I was constantly following the news and um, it didn't really do anything good for me. So back to the topic of avocados. I've heard some people say, oh, you know, a lot of people have this crazy stereotype about health food always being so expensive and stuff, but it's just like, you know, I am so glad I discovered the trick about avocados a long time ago, the fact that if you, you can actually save half of it for for the next day and it won't really go bad if you put it in a proper plastic wrap uh, and if you put it in a Ziploc bag, the, the key is really to keep the air away as you wrap it and store it and it'll be good for you, you know, for the next meal. So really, <laughs> I, I'm still laughing. I guess it's kind of a negative thing when I heard somebody say that they thought avocados were expensive because really, it's cheaper than getting a dollar burger. And, you know, I'm not trying to make fun of um, fast food because I used to love fast food uh, over a year ago. I had to make a diet change. I promised to God that I would make that change. And I did make a huge change for me. Not only have I not had any fast food um, and so on, but anyway, I don't want to talk about myself. I just want to talk about avocados and the fact that, <laughs> the fact that, you can store an avocado for actually a long time without getting brown. If you think that if for you, for example, it gets brown in the refrigerator and wrap, you're probably doing something wrong and there's a trick you can discover if you do it long enough. If you love avocados and the fact that they have so much good stuff in them and the vitamins and the fact that they are, um, they are full of calories as well. So feeling kind of super food, you know, and uh, so anyway, get to the point here. Uh, the trick of storing them really is just to leave the seed in. I know how I've read, I've seen some articles saying, save the seed, you know, you can grow your own avocado. And I'm just like, I really ain't got time for that. <laughs> you know, it was like as if Google was trying to like specifically push some articles on me and it's just like, oh man, it's, I really don't like when Google does that. I don't know about you, but it's it's like I'm not a fan of this because it's like I when I want to research something, the next thing I need to research has nothing to do with what I researched before. It's probably a completely different topic, and most of the things I research have to do with music, not nutrition or food. Um, but you know, the, the seed in the avocado actually is what is going to keep it. I feel that that is actually what keeps it from getting brown so quickly. Uh, because if you ever do this experiment and you put an avocado without the seed, 
it's probably going to get brown in like a few hours in the refrigerator. But if you leave the seed in and you cover it with properly with wrap, it's going to stay fresh probably for a long time. So anyway, and of course it depends on the kind of avocado because there are different kinds of avocados and the quality and so forth and so on. So, and uh, definitely, you definitely don't want to eat the brown stuff. I don't. I don't care if some people might think of me as an avocado snob, but um, you're not supposed to eat the brown stuff, you know. So you want to keep it fresh. If you're going to leave half an avocado in the refrigerator for your next meal that you're going to prepare with it, or, you know, avocados are just great, even with crackers or on bread with cheese. You don't have to make a fancy meal or slave your way <laughs> at the stove. To get a meal with an avocado, you know. So this is what I love. It's just actually, I realized that avocados, in a way, you can think of them as fast food. Um, of course, it takes maybe a couple more extra steps, but um, I'm gonna. That's all I'm gonna say about avocados. I just, I have been in my system for a long time. When I heard somebody say that they thought avocados were expensive, I was just like, really? You know, you can. It's like a dollar for the most part, and you can save half of it for another meal. I don't know. Where do you get? It's literally like two meals under a dollar. So, <laughs> a little bit of a health food lecture for you. But um, next up is, um, yeah, the first snow. Uh, because I promised a very seasonal song after I played In the Summer Rain, so here we go. So yeah, I think what we really need is less news and and some fast food health, health restaurants more. That's what we need in our country. We need fast food, health food. Yeah. Uh -huh. 